Hello there, we've come to Surrey this week to talk to James Chisholm, the Harlequins back rower. Not about being a Harlequins back rower, but about his side business, his side hustle. And this is a particularly good one. They're all good, but this is a particularly good one because it's food. And I like food and you like food. I'm James Chisholm, Harlequins back rower and co-founder of Chucky Nut Pot. Uh, so James, this is a good one. This is a good one because we're here to talk about um, an interest we both share, which is protein. <laughs> <laughs> so tell, tell us about your tell us about your business. Yeah, it's called Chocky Nut Pot, and it does what it says on the tin. It's a mix of nuts, chocolate, whey protein. Uh, it's absolutely delicious. Yeah, and it's we'll good. find out in a minute. Yeah, we will we'll taste test, and it's supposed to be good for you. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. Um, Ten grams of protein, low calories, so on and so on. So something that I'm really passionate about, the things I like, treats, sweet tooth, but also getting that hit of, of nutrition that's good for me. I mean, we could both enjoy it. Is it for us? Who's it for? Yeah, as well. I mean, it's for anyone. Yeah. Any, everyone and anyone. Active people, to be honest. So people that like their gym, like staying active, have protein goals, track the nutrition, but also people that like sweet things, chocolate, treats, that perhaps want to take a healthier option rather than going down that chocolate biscuit aisle and doing some serious damage. Which is a tasty aisle, but it leaves yeah. you still hungry at the end and you hate yourself. <laughs> Take it from me, yeah. the self-loathing is strong with this one. So all the products you could have created, launched, sold, why this one? So I think uh, being a rugby player and my brother being very active, gym goer, playing a bit of rugby, it's really important to kind of hit the nutritional goals or most of the time it's important to do that. But we really enjoy sweet things and I'm bad for a big old binge. Yeah. So I think a product like this sat really well with us because one, we, we love it and we enjoy it. And two, we are keen about trying to stay healthy, trying to be in shape, trying to get the right things in. There is, um, I'm sure some research somewhere, I don't know, it might be, that says that it makes you a better rugby player if you've got something else to think about in your supposed downtime. You need to play computer games, you need to watch box sets, you need to graze on food staring into the sky, you need to do all those rugby player things, but having something else to properly focus on, have you enjoyed that? Do you think it's made you a better pro? Yeah, absolutely. I think kind of di diversifying yourself as much as you can. Um, lots of guys finish training, go home, chill out, like you said, play video games, which is great and fun. But I think you just need to build a bit more, have your hobbies and then have projects like this. I just think it's really powerful. A coach down the road at Amateur Club, I've got this going on. You put your time and effort into it. We went to lots of events, which really suits me. I love talking to people, meeting people. You meet lots of amateur athletes, which is also great. Um, so I do think it's very, very powerful. And once rugby's taken away with injury or... Um, Not one being good enough anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah. There's something to put your time and effort into, which again is really important. You're not just sat around twiddling your thumbs thinking my life's awful. Yeah. You've got something to put your energy so, and passion into. What's the end goal? Well, it'd be great for it to be part-time, let alone it'd be, it'd be really great if it was full-time. Um, when I retire, I'd quite like to do lots of little things. I don't think a nine to five in an office would suit me. So it'd be great to dip in that, do a little bit of coaching, maybe do something else. Just do bits and bobs um, and that, that would be the dream, yeah. Do you feel like being a professional rugby player and having been in rugby all your life, do you feel like it's given you any sort of competitive advantage when it comes to the commercial world? Yeah, I really, I really do. I think rugby and sport in general is an amazing tool to, one, to learn certain things you would never learn and two, to get you places you'd never, the door would never be open. But just like I said, the network that you've got, the people that you learn off, and then the way we're kind of wired over the years of receiving feedback, having tough conversations with people a lot older and a lot senior with you, setting goals, naturally being quite ambitious. Uh, even, it might sound stupid, even being quite big yeah. draws attention to you when you walk in a room, which yeah. is really, really helpful both in business and when you walk into the pub. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Should we, um, not we taste it, you've already tasted it. Yeah, Shall I taste tasted it? tasted loads. Do yes, you please. want, because you, you were talking then about um, honest feedback. I mean, how Yeah, honest? I mean, don't be that honest if you don't like it. Well, no, I'll lie, because I lie, because so this comes off here. You've got a little yeah, spoon it's a little in there. So it's, all, it's all made out of cardboard, your wooden spoon as well. Oh. When we got into it, we, we 
quite keen on recycling. Recycling, yeah. Being as kind of neutral as we can. Here we go. Oh, that is lush. <laughs> that is That's really, really news. nice. It is like the inside of the best brownie you've ever had in your life. <laughs> it's like if they make it really yeah. gooey on the inside, we'll stick that and on you the skip you skip the flowery bit on the outside, which is not the best bit. Yeah. Uh, James, thank you. Really enjoyed the chat. Really enjoyed the product. We know you like it. I now know that I like it, so I hope to see it everywhere soon, from Sainsbury's to gyms to my local petrol station, anywhere. Um, it's going to be in my fridge. Fridge or cupboard? Fridge. Fridge. Noted. Thanks for the chat. Thank Good you very you. much. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you.